Sun Sun, who is actually Sun Sun III, is the granddaughter of the original Sun Sun from the 1984 NES game. She decided to keep the name going and was eventually given a shape shifting staff called the Ruyi Jingu Bang. Now with her home village in danger of a bizarre disease and with an outbreak, Sun Sun embarks on a quest to save her people. She has for Set Suzanne and the Wall Walk. And according to Jules Marvel 2 tier list, she's currently ranked as the third character in D tier. But even with her placement in the tier list, what is it that makes Sun Sun a spectacle to play with? To understand this question, we need to watch today's episode of Dad and Kids Play One. What's good, everybody? I'm Dad from Dad and Kids Play One, and this is Sun Sun Move List for Marvel vs. Capcom 2. We're going to go over all Sun Sun moves and discuss tips and strategies to help you learn to play the character better. Also, if you like these type of videos, then consider giving it a like and maybe a subscribe. Thanks. Before we cover the special moves, first let us take a look at the basic attacks. Okay, starting off this list is the Fuset Suzanne. This move is Sun Sun Rapid Attack. To do this move, rapidly press any punch button. This move operates a lot like Chung Li's Lightning Kick. And just like the lightning kick, Sun Sun needs to be at close range for this attack. You can score a few hits with the Fuset Suzanne before being pushed away. There's little to no difference between the light punch and fierce punch version of the move. Also, this technique can be done in mid-air and can be done at the end of combos. Up next is the attack called Shin Bu. This move is Sun Sun's projectile attack. To do the attack, do a quarter circle forward plus any punch button. Both versions of the Shin Bu are full screen with the fierce punch variation moving at a faster speed. Because of the delay at startup, this attack is not combo friendly, but using it in combos is not impossible, especially when you're using an assist. The Sheen Boo can be performed in midair as well. The Seten Ringeki is Sun Sun Anti Air. To do the move, do a Dragon Punch motion plus any punch button. This move has fast startup time and it's an excellent combo finisher. The light punch version hits twice with the fierce punch variation scoring for three hits. The Seten Ringeki can be performed in mid air and probably is the best move to do at the end of an air combo. Like all other anti airs, it's usually safer to do the light punch version because of its height and range. This move is more of a maneuver than an attack. To do the move, do a quarter circle back plus any kick button.
Sun Sun will run up the wall, then run across the ceiling before finally coming down on the opposite side. Now, at any point during the wall walk, you can actually attack by pressing any kick button. Now, the angle of the kick all depends on the position of Sun Sun and the placement of the opponent. To cancel the wall walk at any time, press any punch button. This move is Sun Sun's command grab. To do the attack, do a half circle back plus any punch button. Like all grabs, you have to be very close to execute this move. At the same time, you run the risk of being left wide open while attempting to execute this attack. While the Kenjin Ninkoro, probably just butchered that name, has cool animation and is more damaging than the regular throw, it can be blocked. This move allows Sun Sun to crawl on the ground. This is done by doing a half circle forward plus any kick button. This move allows Sun Sun's hitbox to become much smaller, making it even harder to hit her. Also, you can perform other attacks and hypers from out of the crawl. So. Sun Sun has three normal throws. Press forward and fierce punch to execute her fierce punch throw. Press forward and fierce kick to execute her fierce kick throw. Press forward and fierce punch while mid air for an aerial fierce punch throw. Okay. Press forward twice or backwards twice while in mid-air to do an air dash. Press forward and furious punch to do the Ginsai Hikaretsu. I hope I'm saying that right. <laughs> Sun Sun has one launcher in the game. To do the launcher, press down plus furious kick. You can do Sun Sun Taunt by pressing the select button. Alternatively, hold light kick then press start if you're playing the Dreamcast version. So the first hyper I would like to cover is called the Tenchi Sukan. This is the move where Sun Sun throws her staff off screen and it comes down on her opponent in giant form. To do the move, do a quarter circle forward plus both punch buttons. This move can be done on both the ground and the air. It has fast startup time and is very combo friendly. You can do this hyper from anywhere on screen but you can get more damage by being close to the enemy since the staff toss can hit the opponent on the way up. The second hyper combo on the list is called Inu. This is where Sun Sun would transform into a giant gorilla which can bash the enemy. To do the attack, do a quarter circle back plus both punch buttons. Wow, 
While in gorilla form, press light punch or fierce punch to bash the enemy. Press any kick button to blast the opponent with the fiery breath. Also, you can control your aim by pressing up or down on the D-pad. Sun Sun's emu form has a time limit, which is measured by the signboard. So make sure to make haste while attacking. Finally, Hyper Inu can be used if you're playing with the Alpha or Beta Assist versions of Sun Sun and by pressing assist 1 plus assist 2 together. So the final hyper I would like to discuss is called the POW, or P-O-W. This is where Sun Sun will yell out the word POW. If the words touch the opponent, it will turn the enemy into an edible object. To do this hyper, do a quarter circle forward plus both kick buttons. So this attack does not have fast startup, but it travels full screen. From my understanding, this hyper will turn into random foods, so there's really no control over that. The power hyper is not a good combo finisher, but it is cool to see it in action nevertheless. Here's what to expect when you use Sun Sun as an assist character. Sun Sun's alpha assist will give a life up peach. Her beta assist will use a fierce punch sheen boot. And her gamma assist will perform a fierce punch senten ringeki. Overall, Sun Sun is a team player. All three of her assists are beneficial to the team, and you really can't go wrong with selecting either of them. As a point character, Sun Sun can speed blitz the enemy and the Shin Buu along with the Setsu Ringeki allows her to fight from any range. She has a small hitbox which means at times she can be hard to hit, but at the same time, Sun Sun's defense is extremely low and she can't take much abuse without being KO. With that being said, here are some tips to help your Sun Sun gameplay. Use the whole Fuku Zeshin or the Crawl to make Sun Sun hitbox even smaller. If done at the right time, you may be able to counter with a Hyper. Her jumping Fierce Punch is 3 hits. Use this in tandem with the air dash for a fast three hit jump in. The best hyper to use as a solo combo finisher is the Tenchi Suken. Sun Sun has speed, but she also has a glass jaw. Do the best you can and minimize mistakes because her defense is low. Whenever using Sun Sun as an assist, make sure to use the alpha one, which is the life up peach. Well, that's it for this week installment. And like I said before, please let me know in the comment section who you would like to see me cover next in the Marvel and Capcom series. I'm Dad Mishima from Dad and Kids Play One. Hope you all have a wonderful day and we'll see you next game. Peace out.